this latest episode of Cooking with Chris. Today's recipe is going to be a slow cooker cashew chicken. It's a fairly simple recipe to put together. It does take about three to four hours to cook, but uh, you can also serve it with either rice or an oriental mixed vegetable. That's what I'll be doing with it today is the oriental mixed vegetable. So with that, I hope you enjoy this recipe and let's get cooking. Okay, so the first step we're going to do is we're going to take our two pounds of chicken, and what we're going to do is we're going to have to cut it into pieces. Um, like I always suggest, you can. my suggestion is to let it be lightly frozen, that way it makes it a little easier to cut, it doesn't squish around nearly as much. So what we'll do is we'll get our two pounds of chicken cooked and then we'll keep going. Okay, so here we got our two pounds, or roughly two pounds of chicken all cut up. Uh, I cut it into cubes. You can cut it into strips, you can cut it into any shape you really want, but next step we're going to do is we're going to cook this for about two minutes on each side. We're going to flip it around a bit, and then what we will do is we will put it uh, into the next step. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of our chicken. I'm going to dump some of it in here. I'm doing this in small batches, that way it doesn't get all one big clump. And what you're going to do is you're going to cook it for about two minutes on each side or until it's white but not fully cooked. Okay, so what we're going to start off with first is our one tablespoon of brown sugar. Then what we'll move on to is minced cloves, garlic cloves. Um, since they're not fresh, I'm going to use powdered. And for this, you'd need an eighth of a teaspoon. Give or take. And then what we're going to use is green, uh, ginger. And since I don't have fresh, I'm going to use powdered, which is one-fourth of a teaspoon of ginger. And then we're going to do a fourth of a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Give it a little spice. And then what we'll do is we'll add our wet ingredients, which is going to be a fourth of a cup of soy sauce. Yeah, but we'll use it all. And then we're going to need two tablespoons of ketchup, two tablespoons of rice vinegar, but since I don't have any, I'm using regular white vinegar, distilled white vinegar. So I'm going to use two tablespoons. And then what we're going to do is we're going to stir that up and then add it to the chicken and to into the crock pot. So what I got here is my handy six quart crock pot. What we're going to do first is we're going to add the chicken and then I'm going to add a little black pepper to this. Lovely brown sauce right here. And dump it over. 
and we'll just give it a good mix up so everything gets a little bit coated with it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cook it for three to four hours on low and about a half hour into being done um, you want to add the cashews. Okay, so here we got our chicken. It's been cooking in the sauce for about three hours and it looks like it's about done. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add our half a cup of cashews. I'm adding a little bit more because I like cashews. Just dump those right in. Give it a good mix. And also what I'm going to do is let these cook for a few minutes. And I'm going to add some vegetables too. So, let's keep going. Okay, so here we got the chicken and the cashews all nice and cooked. What we're going to do now is add our, it's about maybe three cups of stir-fried vegetables. Just dump them right in there. And what you want to do is give that a nice stir. So you can mix everything right up. And then what we'll do is we'll serve this right up and go from there. Okay, so here we got the final product. You can see the chicken's well cooked. You can see all the little cashews in it. And the noodles. If you want, you can put rice to this. But me, I'm, I'll cook it occasionally. Let's see. A little bit of the chicken, some of the vegetables. If you don't cook the vegetables, put the vegetables in until like after you put the cashews in. They're still really crunchy. And let's see. Still crunchy, a little bit soft. It's good. You can taste the pepper in it, the pepper flakes. You can taste the soy sauce, which is good. So, overall, a good meal. Give it a thumbs up. My suggestion if you do want rice, a nice wild grain or white rice or even a uh, whole wheat or wheat rice. But on that, a good recipe. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that video. I enjoyed making it for you. It was a very tasty recipe to do. Uh, as always, if you want to leave a comment or any video messages go right ahead you can leave them right below this video uh, as always I do appreciate all the support and also all the comments so with that thank you for watching this video and keep on cooking Come on.